First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes monitor, camera, DC power cord, U bracket, sunshade, windshield mount, cigarette lighter adapter, antenna asterisk 4, T taps and screws. Install the antennas on the camera. Install the antennas on the monitor. Pick up the sunshade. Install the sunshade on the monitor. Pick up the U-bracket. Align the bracket with the holes around the monitor. Use screws to fix the bracket and monitor. Same as the previous operation. Follow my operation. The bracket can be adjusted flexibly. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. Pick up the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Stick it on the bottom of the monitor bracket. You can tear off the 3M sticker and stick it on the dashboard. Now we will demonstrate how to the windshield mount. Rotate the screw on the windshield mount, like my way. Move the cube. Take up the back of the monitor. Slide the cube into the back of the monitor, like my way. You can adjust the position you want, tighten the screw. You can mount it on the windshield. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Connect another power cord to the camera. Pick up the green connector. Use a tool to loosen the screw. The plus sign is positive, minus sign is negative. Insert the merged red wire into the positive, plus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Insert the merged black wire into the minus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. Connect the power cord to the camera. Unplug the power cord from the monitor. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The power key to turn off on the screen. Touch can P again to switch to the cam 2 channel. Touch can P again to switch to the split screen. Touch can P again to switch to the camera channel. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the plus or minus keys to switch to the picture. Touch the sixth key to confirm. Touch the sixth key to confirm. The icon turns red. 
Touch the plus or minus keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the sixth key to confirm. You can set parameters for brightness, contrast, and saturation. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus or minus keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the sixth key to confirm. Touch the plus or minus keys to select the mode you need. Touch the sixth key to confirm. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus or minus keys to switch to the mode. Touch the sixth key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you need. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus or minus keys to switch to the system. Touch the sixth key to confirm. You can set the parameters of system time, language. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus or minus keys to switch to the P line. Touch the sixth key to confirm. You can turn on and off the guide line. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus or minus keys to switch to the record. Touch the sixth key to confirm. You can turn on or off the rewrite function and turn on formatting the SD card. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the menu key to click the menu mode. When the guideline appear on the screen. Touch the plus key when the H appear on the screen. Touch the minus key to adjust the height of the guideline. Touch the plus key when the M appear on the screen. Touch the minus key to moving the guideline right or left. Touch the plus key when the W appear on the screen. Touch the minus key to adjust the width of the guideline. Touch the plus key, the letter not appear on the screen. Touch the CMA key to switch to the camera channel. Turn off the camera power. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the sixth key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn on the camera's power. The image appears on the screen, indicating that the pairing is successful. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 